What's up guys? First vlog in the new place and honestly I don't really like doing these business vlogs. It's just I spend so much time here and uh, more importantly there's like significant things every week that I have to tell you guys because a lot of my customers like only watch my YouTube videos. They don't like they're not signed up to the newsletter and stuff. So uh, because of the July 4th holiday this week a lot of orders we had to wait till Wednesday to send out. And we did run out of ribeye and duck eggs last week. So guys, just please be a little patient, but we're trying to get everything out today, which is Wednesday. And uh, they're coming out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the FedEx Express guys just showed up. It's about 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday. I spent my, uh, <laughs> my morning <laughs> leveling out the garbage in this dumpster because <laughs> like, I'm not gonna go tell my employees to get in the dumpster and level out the garbage. Like, I'll put the gloves on myself and do it. I feel like you can't tell someone to do dirty work. I mean, look, like, at some point, if I can't actually, like, do it myself and I'm way too busy, yeah, I'll tell someone else to do it. But it, it, it's not, it's kind of not fair to me. So I was like, screw it, I'll just throw on some gloves and do it myself. Hopefully, I don't fall in the dumpster and land in a pile of flies. But, uh, they're gonna come pick that up tomorrow and bring a new one. Point is, I could have spent. Guys, the point is, the point really is, I could be in China right now in some strip club, but uh, instead I'm in a dumpster in Pennsylvania playing with flies. Should be playing with some other type of animal. Some of you guys were talking shit about the organization and cleanliness. First of all, I paid a professional cleaning company way too much money to come in here and clean everything. Second of all, guys, we just moved in last week. Give me like two or three weeks for the organization stuff and we're gonna clean stuff again. And then and then you can start complaining about it. We didn't really do anything up front here because we're not using it. So most of the cleaning and organizing was done in the back and in the warehouse. But, but FedEx is here for the express orders. And guys, it was, it's one of the worst weeks of the year, you know? Um, yeah, he's got, he's got some of the boxes on his truck now. Because we, we couldn't ship anything Monday. And my guys were off yesterday. So it's not like we were in here packing up orders. I was. I was working on 4th of July cooking roast beef for you guys. But let's not get into that. So. Yeah, my guys are still packing up all the orders. So we got one pallet there. We got another pallet here. I have some post office orders to do. And let me tell you. The post office over here, I'm at my I'm at my wits end with these cocksuckers, dude. I'm at my wits end. I thought the post office in New York was bad. At least they took the packages. Now they're like weighing my ball hairs. They like want me to, if I drop a little hair on the package, they want me to take my ball hairs off the package because it's overweight, dude. It's it's actually it's actually insane. So sending the packages this way, I had no issues in New York, no issues whatsoever. Now they're like. Oh, you can't use your first class table on priority. And then I was doing that and they're like, oh, it's point, point 0.3 ounces overweight. It's point 0.3 ounces overweight. And they're making me pay for new labels. And now they're, I feel like they're just making stuff up at this point. They're like, oh, there's a liquid in there. It needs to be labeled as a liquid. At least in New York, even though they didn't show up half the time, they just took the packages and sent them. Now they're, they're literally making shit up to send my packages back to me and irritate me and make me pay more. I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Start my own postal service, huh? Throw boxes back at them. Anyway. Uh, all right, that's enough That's enough ranting and complaining. So we got most of the stuff in stock this week. The ribeye is back. The duck eggs are coming Friday. We actually got more duck eggs last week. Ran out again. And we're getting more this week. And we're going to have to send all the duck egg orders on Monday. All the dairy has been coming in as usual, guys. But that's, I mean, the main thing I wanted to say this week was, you know, we're trying to get stuff back in stock and uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff that I'm looking forward to doing over the, the next month or two or three with some new products, new meat coming in. I want to do some granola bars too, stuff on Frankie's Strange Foods. A uh, lot, a lot of stuff that we'll talk about more in depth over the next few weeks. The uh, electrician finally got everything set up in here. The ovens are working, the vacuum sealer is up and running bandsaw is up and running i'm waiting on some guy to get me some new cutting boards here because these are 
you know, they old, they don't look too nice. And I might epoxy the floor just so it looks more presentable. Restocked a few things this week for you guys. We got the pork loin steaks, half pound portions. These are delicious, very affordable for Iberico pork. We have three pound Iberico pork that's pretty fatty. And then we have the more expensive lean Iberico pork tenderloin. Over here is nothing new guys. We got the hot dogs, we got the beef sausages, plenty of beef testicles. This is a restock. Veal sweetbreads are back. You guys missed the restaurant vlog last week. This is what we had in that really delicious dish. Plenty of veal brains, guys. These are super cheap now. I think they're $15 each on the website. And then we have plenty of the bone marrow butter still available. We ran out of goat testicles, but we do have the uh, individual goat testicles and we still have the beef and veal. London broil is back in stock. So our Amish buddies cut the chicken a little differently this week. So we have two options. You can get the chicken thighs on their own. We have the whole chicken still over here. We have the pack of four individual drumsticks. And then over here, this is boneless chicken breast. So this is the individual chicken breast boneless. So in addition to that, we still have all the old cuts that we had, you know, the chicken thigh and leg together and then the whole breast together. We got some bison in stock. Skirt steak is now available. We got a lot of the cheap ground beef back in stock, guys. This is the 80-20, that's only $7.50 a pound. A lot of whole beef briskets. Over here, just a bunch of venison. We got some more beef belly over here. All right, let's, uh, let's show you guys the fridge. So you guys saw what was in here the other day. We're sending all the fresh dairy out. We got the milk for sheet milk. Over here is the rest of the dairy products. We got cottage cheese, a lot of farmer's cheese still left in stock. Butter looks really good. Nice and yellow, dark yellow. Some heavy cream over here. Kind of running low on cheeses, but we do have uh, plenty of the A2 cheeses. We got the pork lard back in stock on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Plenty of Iberico pork lard. And all the other stuff for the most part is in stock. We got the Wagyu tallow, we got the regular beef tallow, we have lamb tallow, we have our pure ocean sea salt, as well as the Bolivian rose mountain salt. Plenty of steak seasoning up here. Still have some jerky in stock. And most of the biltong is in stock. We got the seasoned and the plain stuff, and we're getting more beef sticks too. Almost forgot guys, we're gonna do a chicken sale this weekend. Uh, even though I don't really want to, my Amish farmer is complaining because we're not selling the chicken that quickly. Although I told him last year, listen, you want me to pay that price for the chicken? I'll pay you that price, but my customers aren't going to be happy and they're not going to buy as much chicken. Lo and behold, Frank was right. We're not buying as much chicken. Now the farmer isn't happy. And I told him, look, I gave you your price per pound and I told you what was going to happen. And he's like, oh, well, we're so much chicken. So it's, it's whatever. So we're going to do a chicken sale. I'm going to cut my losses this weekend, try to move some chicken out for him and then, uh, and then we're not going to do that again. And then he's going to be out of luck next time around. So, um, you know how it is. Everyone wants to make money. And then when things don't go their way, they complain about it. But I'm the one in here. And I guess, I don't know. I guess I'd rather be in a dumpster with some flies than on an Amish chicken farm at this point. That's going to be it for the vlog this week, guys. I have a lot of catching up to do. But I, I did want to keep you guys posted on what's going on. Hopefully we can get most of the meat restocked over the next week or two. And uh, everything situated. And then, you know, over the next two or three months, we'll get some new products in and hopefully uh, some bigger things will be happening. But as always, you guys can go to frankdestafon.com to check out Frankie's Strange Meat, Frankie's Strange Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I'll just do another brief overview of all the businesses, what's going on, guys. Frankie's Strange Meat, we did get almost all the stuff back in stock. Duck eggs are coming tomorrow. Frankie's Strange Foods, we ran out of a few things. Uh, we have most of the bars and most of the stuff. I will start trying to do the water key for next week. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me for that. But you guys better buy it this time. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my shit. Um, Morgan Supplements is a blowout sale. Um, all the minerals are like half price. Uh, and we're, we should be getting some more organ powders back in a few months. And the, the minerals are still going to be off on sale. But the organ powder is going to be new. So I'm not sure on the price on those yet. Wi-Fi shielding the canopies could be coming soon. And Frankie's Naturals. Uh, we might be offering some new products. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. But... Uh, definitely keep an eye out over the next month or two. We might do a sale on that as well.
And I think I've said this several times in the past few videos, like if there's any point in time for you guys to support us, it's gonna be you know, kind of through the end of this year into early next year as we kind of get things situated and I'm a little more comfortable. And then after that point, I won't worry about it as much. But uh, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon before it gets too loud in here. Thank you.